Oh, all right. right. Yes, we're live, and luckily we missed your soundboard. <laughs> I can do it more. <laughs> Please stop. Michael the rat will come for me. Hello, everybody. Don't worry. The Chaotics are on the case. We're here uh -huh. to solve we're the mystery. Who did the murder? Who well, did the funny? Te technically, only two of us are on the case. Well, yeah, Chava is technically not in the game because uh, no. obviously a murder mystery is a bit too much for a little kid. <clears throat> yeah, that's a sore point. Let's not talk about that. I already had Even a tirade on Twitter. Yeah, Tails is there, but I'm not allowed. This Tails well, is a like genius. Two years older than you, I think. Well, Tails is. Apparently, that's enough. Tails is a kid. What's his excuse? What about me? He's also a genius inventor. Who cares? He's a kid. Anyway. But he. He's smart enough to solve a mystery, I guess. <clears throat> you two are supposed to be for him and not against him. You know that. Look. What I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to provide an explanation for why it might have been the case. I'm just stating facts. And also, I mean, Tails doesn't leave Sonic's side. Let's be real. Yeah, those two are attached to the hip. Let him leave your side, and then I'm, I'm like, oh, sorry, you have to stay with Uncle Big. I mean, you've been my side pl plenty of times. I mean, I was in Team Sonic Racing solo for some reason. <laughs> Nobody yeah, loves what's that us. all about? Exactly. I don't know. I mean, Blaze and Silva said they needed a third, and I was like, I could do that, I guess. But that's just not a team. Why would Blaze, Silver, and you be a team? That's just weird. I mean, they just didn't have a third to fill in, so they just they just kind of grabbed me out of the box, I guess. Two and just put me and Charmy in in the chaos <coughs> team. Um, aren't we supposed to be playing a game and not discussing oh, yeah, um, game, huh? why yeah, sure. people weren't in certain Sonic games? Cause Daddy Sega is mean. Let's play the game. Um, I mean, I am dressed up in as a poet today, so and I'm a butcher. You are a butcher. Boss. And I'm no. I'm cosplaying the invisible. Let's invis get on that train. I'm cosplaying the invisible man. Let's go. You're doing a great job. I know, right? I'm doing great. I'm even albino as well. Sure. Phew, made it on the train. Fifteen minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so Choo -choo. good for my first day on the <laughs> job. But yeah, I'm a I'm 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 that. I'm I'm this guy. <laughs> I'm that. I'm that, I'm that guy, I'm this guy. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make, I should make one. Nice. I'll just sign my name here. Nice. Hang on. What if it'll let you put Charmy. in your name? Charmy. It won't let you put in the characters now, in the game. Now, if this works, that means I'm not canon. Ready? Mm-hmm. I'm oh not. Goodness, I'm not canon. Charmy's I'm, not real. Oh, I'm not feeling so good, boy. Where'd he go? <laughs> He's gone. Oh uh, well, Charmy got Thanos. He just disappeared. Charmy's been Thanos, guys. Charmy he just. Go? He doesn't exist. Charmy. Stream. We're gonna have to find him. I know. We're gonna have. We're gonna have to solve the mystery of who Thanos snapped um, Charmy B. This is the new mystery. Who murdered Charmy the Bee? Who murdered... Charmy murdered himself. All right. That's the stream over, guys. Bye-bye. No more Charmy Bee channel. This is the end. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. He's Char hiding behind me. You can come on out, Charmy. Aw. Cool prank, huh, though? And then just smoke made a convincing. Charmy is not canon. I'm not... Guys, I'm not canon! What is this? What? I don't think it's the fact that you're not canon. It's just I the think fact it just, that you're not here. Yeah, you can't just use people the names in the game you can't name yourself after. Here. Well, I wonder if you can call yourself Conductor. That would be kind of funny. <laughs> that's my... Hang on. Can I change... That's not my name. All right. How do you spell Conductor? Is it con uh, let me, let me duck it tour Is that it? Is that's that the it? Yeah, don't... Conduct. Oh, oh, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> Conductor. Is that it? Yep. Yeah, that's, that's my name. Like, the, like conductor? the Conductor? Oh, so you're canon, but I'm not. <laughs> wow. Okay. 
All right. What you're about gonna train? Be, you're gonna be. You're. You're gonna be that guy. That's your name. Wait, 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 wait. I want to try what? one more. What? What? Can we try the Mirage Express? Uh, uh, will that fit? The Mirage Express. It's too long! Right, he's that guy. He's that guy because he's upset me. That guy. You are that guy. Yes, indeed, you are that guy. All passengers can read my scribble. Yeah, chicken scratch. Look at that. Terrible handwriting. Did you go Big to school? Block, capital letters. That guy. So, did you even go to school? Ah, yes, the dining car. Can't believe Charmy is that salty. He called the um, he called an employee of that guy. He could have actually <laughs> put Charmy. Then he would have been in the game. No, he's that guy. Cause I'm upset now. I'm upset. I'm not All playing. Right, he's that calm guy. down. Calm down. Uh oh, am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Probably. Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, that guy, shake it off! <laughs> Whoa! Who? Who's slapping? Whoa! You slap yourself. Slap. That guy, did I uh just see you hitting yourself? <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh -huh. Mr. Conductor, sir! How are you doing this morning? I I'm good, just stop slapping yourself, bruh. <laughs> stop slapping yourself. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, quite alright myself. Though feeling a little bittersweet. That's a really good voice acting, SBO. You want me to change up, I will! No, 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 oh, you're good. good, don't worry, you sound great! Great! Yeah, Who yeah, 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 don't, 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 don't change a thing. You're all good! I'm in this, so it all sound like me when I'm me. <clears throat> Don't change that. I won't. Is everything all right? No, no, Pick a thing. We'll swap. Is that thing? We gotta swap characters. <laughs> Is that because you're a sweetie? Uh, That's what Sonic picked. Is that because you're a sweetie? I'm gonna pick that. It's funny. Trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? Yeah, and I try to sweeten you up. Ah! <laughs> Alas. <laughs> Today is my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. 32? You're ancient. He's been working there a while. Right? Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Aw, oh, big Sag. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets on to what? Sp Spagonia. Sp Spagonia locked. Spagonia. Spagonia. Spaghetti. Some spaghetti. <laughs> Our show has been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotel hotels fahaha. What's the fahaha? No, he's excited to use the hotels. Fa -ha -ha. Oh, he's laughing. I was like, what's a fa -ha -ha? Yeah, he's, he's, he's ready to use the showers at the showers hotels. At the hotel. Oh, I was just like, oh, is he just like, is that just like Sp Spagonian for shower? Charmy. What? <laughs> if that's how you think already, you're going to fail miserably in this game. Mwah! Good night, everybody. I can see why <laughs> his wife's excited. Because he's stinky. <laughs> He's stinky! Hoo hoo! Ha ha! Big stinky! Ho, ho, ho. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu has been added to your inventory. I can open the inventory anytime to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. Cool, let's have a look at that. I want to look at the menu. Chili dog. Chili dog, ramen, ramen and chicken. Cordon, cordon blue. Uh, a very fancy selection, clearly. <laughs> yeah, f fancy. I mean, when when a train looks like this on the inside, I'd imagine it'd be fancy. Right. Why do you <laughs> look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. Wow. Um, fine dining, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, he's talking about the shower again. Yeah, he's talking about the showers <laughs> in Spagonia. I didn't put the reading thing on before I came in, so, uh, Marty Man, thank you very much for the two dollars. How do you feel that SBO and Venture went without you? Hurt. I feel hurt. Not gonna lie. Listen, invites were sent out. We just replied to them. 
You clearly exactly. didn't get an invite. That's not our fault. Yeah, if you don't get an invite, Charmy, that's nobody's fault. That's like the person. Maybe you should talk with Amy about it. Yeah, Listen, and she's the one who organized it. Cream wasn't there either. I wasn't invited. <laughs> Pig wasn't there. Exactly. Yellow wasn't there. I wasn't invited. I'm exactly. appalled, quite frankly. There's a lot of people who weren't invited. It's probably expensive. Mm hmm. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to Amy. Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Oh, I don't want. I, no one told me there would be a quiz. It's okay. You know the answer. I don't like you pop quizzes. You're gonna have a lot of these, Charmy. Uh, which of these do we serve in the dining car? You serve chicken cordon bleu. I was paying attention. The Thank you very much. Goons. <laughs> no. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Glad you can read the menu, okay? He's talking about them showers Shower. again. Shower! <laughs> A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. Cool. I'm going to throw this rock at it. Charlie. Check out this neat rock I found. Hey, check out this cool moth I found. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Get it out of here, man. Isn't it cool? We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. I saw that as waifu at the first glance. I don't know why. <laughs> Waifu's on the brain. Waifu. I saw it as waifu. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the in. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my um, tenure as conductor. I read that word. You did. I struggled <laughs> and job. I read it. Well, I'm proud of you as I've been teaching you to read lately. I'm very, very impressed. Thank you. I've been trying hard. Guess we'll you've be been, funneled. You've been working hard. I have been working hard. Guess we'll be funneled here uh, to the dining car. As a home base, so to speak. I will be with you to gather tickets. But after that, you'll be on your own. Oh no. So you'll need to do everything in your power to make sure our uh, paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? I'll make you proud, sir. Showers! <laughs> Glad this old man <laughs> can rest easy. Lightning Tiger, thank you very much for the $4.99. Speaking of Queen the Rabbit, guess who's coming to Sonic Speed Simulator tomorrow? Shut up. She's not. Cool. Nice. I think she is. The Easter Bunny is coming, guys! The Easter Bunny! That you told me... Sense. He told me I'm the Easter Bunny. He told me I'm the Easter Bunny, and that's why I'm here. Who He's did? Charmy. He said, Ugh, she needs an Easter Bunny. Whoa, look, she's here. Bring her here. You're bringing Bridget to Charlie. Uh, I'm pretty good. Thank you. I've been I've been working on it for a very very long time. I don't have time to work on it when I've been training you this whole time. Um, listen, we don't talk about me talking to myself when I'm editing. She does. Yeah, she, she does listen to his voice a lot. Yeah, she does. She's she she practices voices. She wants to be a voice actress, but she sucks. No, she doesn't. Don't put her down like that. You're lucky I still had it for you. Charmy, you should know better. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, sassy. That's better. Thank you. Now read your stuff. Yes, Espio Sensei. Doors to the Mirage Expressor opening. All aboard! Train! Uh, I think trains are cool. You think trains are cool? Mm -hmm. Trains are pretty all right. Oh, there's Amy. Oh, hey, and look. There's Knuckles and there's Shadow or maybe Sonic. I think that's oh, Sonic. That's Sonic. Amy. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. That's my Tails impression, by the way. How'd I do? It's, it's pretty bad. good. It was pretty bad. <laughs> it's better than Sonic's. Did you hear Sonic's? No, I no, I didn't watch because I didn't want spoilers. <laughs> hey, look, look who it is. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, oh, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. 
What did you all expect? You know I always go out of my way for my birthday. I go out, all out. Sorry. I, I, I just, I'm too busy staring at Sonic to read properly. Very real. <laughs> Oh, I can't do that. Sassy. Oh, let me... Oh, wait. No, no. I, okay, okay. Go, go, go on. Oh, wow. Gonna... Excuse me. Sorry. Wow. $100 from Sly Lancy. Thank you so much, Sly Lancy. You deserve this, Charmy. The grind you've been on lately has been inspiring. Wish nothing more but the best for you, the Chaotix and Sassy as well. Thank you so much. It's really kind of you. Thank you. Super kind. I know, that's super kind. Thank you. I might cry. That's really, really nice. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. It makes you feel good. All right. Let's get some love in the chat for yeah. Sly. Yeah. Love in the... <clears throat> big hearts in the chat for Sly. Big red hearts. Yay. The love. Sly, yeah. you, can, you can join our um, mine and Sassy's the next uh, lesson in martial arts if you like. I'm always happy for a sparring partner. Exactly. Watch out for her feet. Yeah, I, I, I have very strong feet. Espio knows. I accidentally kicked him in the nose, and I still feel bad. Mm -hmm. Through a wall. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I hug you? Yeah. What happened to that wall? No, that's, that was the point. The point is that I wanted you to get stronger, and you are definitely that. I, but I hurt your nose, and I feel very really bad. That's fine. I've taken worse hits. Oh, uh, don't got worry. Much more to learn. Don't worry, Sassy. Give him a kiss on the nose. I'm sure he'll, he'll I'm sure he'll love it. Charmy. Anyways, back to the ba dog. Yeah, ve Vector. I heard you do an amazing, amazing rouge voice. You wanna, yeah, you wanna me, share me, it? Put on my best rouge, yes, rouge voice. Let me, <clears throat> let me make, make sure I'm comfortable first. I don't want to fall off my chair. This train's as elegant as you are. Oh Amy. my God! <laughs> don't do that! <laughs> don't do that! Stop it! No! <laughs> Someone else do it, Sassy. You do. <laughs> Why you don't like it? All right, no. let, me, let me hang on. <clears throat> this train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything though. Oh, that's better. How was that? <laughs> God, boss, you I were think scaring mine's me. pretty good, Sam. <laughs> you were scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, boss did pretty good. <laughs> Look, chat saying it was amazing. Chat loves it. Come on, chat. Woo! Uh, yeah. Can we get? Well, can we get a poll up or something? Can we do polls on here? Yeah, we can. Like so. Let me just let me just get, do get a, a poll. poll up real quick. Who do you Where want to do poll? rouge? What? My internet went funny. Oh. It literally stopped for like two seconds while I was doing the poll. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> the, the internet said no. Let back to do it. Just Sorry. Do it. Sorry, guys. The internet said no. The internet hates this idea. <laughs> oh no, it's not showing up on YouTube. Oh no. I mean, the stream's still going on my end. Yeah, I can't. I can't see anything on my um, so like my streaming software though. Hang on. This is bad. Oh wait, here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I found it. I found it. There we go. Sorry. Technical difficulties. It wouldn't be a great live stream without one. All right, I'm back. Right. Paul. Don't do that again! Please, I, I I don't need this. Right. Who should voice Rouge? I'm gonna put boss. Boss or Sassy. I I boss can't sorry. Eight. I mean, I'm gonna vote for Vector, because funny. For sassy. I, don't know I mean, I do appreciate your voice acting <laughs> skill, Sassy, but also, I just think it'd be funny. <laughs> Fair. Right, I'm gonna read it's, this one. It from... scared me. I don't want nightmares! <laughs> don't give him nightmares. Okay, I'm I gonna... would have a nightmare of Ruse with her back to me <laughs> and then turn around in his boss's face. I'm just gonna I'm gonna read this donation from Lightning Tiger because we missed it. Uh, thank you for the 199. Um, would hitting SPO's nose hurt her um, back? It's a horn. I hit the underside. I didn't. You know, if I'd have Where hit the horn, it was like an axe to kick, but the 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 bottom to to the side of the part that is on the bottom of the horn. All right, I just moved on. There's knuckles. There's a boy knuckles. Who wants to be knuckles? 
wearing his traditional hat. Yeah! Go back with knuckles if you want. Go, go, go! I think you can do it if you want. <clears throat> Calm down, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from your train station gift shop? That's as close as I can get. I mean, who's winning this poll? It Sassy? Like Sassy Sassy's winning Sassy's the poll. Yep. Yeah. I think Sassy wins. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh... Should we just end the street poll yeah, there so nice. SPO doesn't have to have nightmares? All right, Sassy. <laughs> take it away. Okay. <clears throat> it was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny little pen? What a cast of characters I'm stuck with. Get a hold of yourself, that guy. You're sweating through your uniform. I love what I called him that guy. Hey, it's the boy! Oh, wait, hold on. Can I, can I do Sonic? <laughs> sure. You're desperate to be other people, aren't you? You just want to be, just, you just wanna be everybody, want boss? Mr. Brett Sonic. It's funny. You want to read the whole thing? Go for it. Go for it, boss. Go for it. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Wow. There we go. Of course, sir. Are? Are you a pirate? Oh no, I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. Haha, <laughs> sorry about that, birthday girl. My Amy voice is amazing. Top Spectacular, hundred percent. Top notch, hundred percent. I'll be coming round to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, that guy, won't you? Just click on whoever you like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Uh, okay, got it. All right, so I'm gonna start with Knuckles. Howdy, could I collect your ticket, please? Oh, it's all crumpled. I think that's a ticket? But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good. Thank you. Seems the conductor, conductor doesn't want to argue either. Yeah, he might punch people. Hmm. And uh, next, it's the boy. Can I get your ticket, uh, youngin? It's all nice and neat. Youngin. <laughs> right here, sir. I... Uh, I'm not gonna try. <laughs> Unless somebody else wants to be Tails. I'm you gonna give it a go. Think so. <laughs> Thank you. May I offer you um, <laughs> any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that you can melt, um, ma melt any jaded heart. No way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day, and I was ner a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're Spikle... Spikle? <laughs> We're Sparkle Spikle. Gel Spikle. Spikle Gelatin Buddies! A Spikle now. Ha ha ha! Absolutely! If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness, thank goodness someone on this train is normal. It's the boy! Ticket, please! <laughs> They're all the boy, even the girls. It's all the boys. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as you aboard. Oh, he's clout chasing. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. That sounds like Sonic. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have fun the now. The game's called the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't think he's going to have much <laughs> the, fun. I'm going yeah. to have fun getting myrtled. Will do. Thanks. Myrtle dirtled. Myrtle dirtled. Oh, no. Espio. Look at me. I'm so fancy. Look at him. I love this. I got a rose on my shirt. You've cleaned up very well. I know. Well, I am a poet, of course. It's... I have to look suave. Sc scrubs up well. Thank you. Could we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy your stay with us. 
Absolutely. I appreciate it. Love it! There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me, and he can apparently rebind. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling to wall onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. Duh, that guy, he's a lizard. He's, he's a chameleon. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Hey, we got a donation from Sabuna. Thank you very much, Sabuna, for the $5. Hello, hello, folks. Espio, I must say, you look fabulous. Why, thank you, young lady. I very much appreciate the compliment. Sassy did help me do the stitching on this shirt. We made it ourselves. Yes, I helped him, and he looks great. He looks the part. I'm glad you chose purple. It does suit me, I see. I mean, purple buddies need to stick together, right? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, it's it's the boss's turn. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Vectorus, you would lose your ticket. Listen, I, I, I don't have any control over it. It just happened. You have a pocket right in front of your apron. How can well, you yeah, but that's for meats places? and things. No, that's technically for your, you know, knives. That falls under the category of things. Things and knives and stuff. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Hee hee hee! Why, certainly! Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped! Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting! It's right up my alley! Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast! Maybe we should le leave her to have fun. Before we move along, for you, miss... Oh, how fun! Thank you! Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday! The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's particularly... It's practically... It's practical. Very practically traditional. Very useful! I will use this wisely! Thank you! My amazing voice. Music lover, thank you very much for the $4.99. Greetings and good afternoon, everyone. Hope all is well. Yep, we're uh, we're doing pretty good here, thank you. All right, it's edgy boy. Who wants to be the edgy boy? I'll take it. It's a deeper voice. This one is something I can probably get into. All right, go <clears> on, <throat> SBO. <clears throat> here. Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Hmm. Do you sell gift bags here? Computer, stop. Oh, uh, no, sadly. But I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. That stare. Ugh, so cold. That guy, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch you your jacket? <laughs> no, no, I'm good. All right. Blaze. 
You know what? I, I don't really know how to do a good place. <laughs> May I have your ticket, please? Well, she got it. I mean, I could, I could do <laughs> Go on, go on. <laughs> Thank you very much. Not on, again! On top of it, I see. Would you want Sassy to do it? No, it's fine. Let boss like, have his fun. Go on, boss. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. That poor princess. <laughs> princess? If Blaze ever heard you do this, she would <laughs> kick your butt. I mean, I'm sorry, but we needed the voice, and I'm doing my best. You forced it. You <laughs> wanted she... it. Did she just say princess? She's a p, -p, p princess If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. We're silver, though. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday. Then I'll have back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Ho ho! You don't say! Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess! Uh, you should say your royal highness. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? It's customary to bow. What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? All right, I got a couple of uh, donos that I think I missed there. Let's see. Marty Man, thank you very much for the two dollars. I'm gonna have to pull the taser on you, Vector. Now, don't pull the what? taser on what him. What for? Leave him alone. He's fine. Because you for because you lost your ticket. Oh. Uh, it's fine. We we'll, we'll find it. We don't taser people. Calm down. Um, MTS, the Hollow Cat. Thank you very much for the two dollars. Hi everyone. Espio, you're my favorite character. Right, thank you. I'm actually surprised by that. And most people just go with Sonic or Shadow, but I appreciate that. And V-Man, thank you very much for the two dollars. Sassy, which is better, US Punk or UK Punk? Pop Punk. That's uh, neither. Uh, yep. Punk is punk. I like music. Music's cool. I don't really have a preference. I just like whatever I hear and jam out to it. Pretty much. Oh, I, I guess it's mine and Charmy's turn. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Also, Charmy's voice coming out of the conductor feels wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it does, kinda. Charmy, a 30 something year old man. Well, he's been on the train for 32 years. You gotta imagine he was probably like in his 20s or something when he got on it. <laughs> he's probably in like his 60s or something. <sighs> Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best judge of character. Oh, How dear. You gonna find the ticket? Mm -hmm. the, the, the claw has it. Oh! Help me find my ticket, please. Hmm, yummy. Don't mind if I do. That guy, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure that guy only gets one of those if they ask. Arm. Just blinking. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh, Train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Shower! <laughs> Good try, young buck! This Train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat! Those snacks look really tasty, too. All right, let's look for... Have one. Oh, wait, I found the ticket. Oh, it's in the napkin. Where the ticket is. See, How good, de get there? good detective. What's sticking out of the napkin holder? See, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's, let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost the ticket is, is going to give the inventory. ticket back just to take it away again. Yeah. Find anything yet? 
Well, we just might have what you need. That guy, why don't you show our friend what you picked up? Well, what we picked up. This one. Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thank you so much to, Bo you, or to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. <laughs> ho ho! Oh, that guy here. Oh, he's, he's an old guy. Oh, that guy here would, would have their hands full kicking you out. <laughs> You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> shower! Shower, 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 shower. Wait, who made me both microwave as expert and security guard? You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's rules for the murder mystery! And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for a departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express? Absolutely! You can count on me! To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Assist that guy if they need any help, won't you? Shower! That's all I need to hear! You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. Excellent! I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time! And don't worry about mucking the place up either. The train is a state of is state of the art and has systems for dealing with that. Kicking people off as the train speeds by at a hundred miles an hour. For everything else, oh, no. <laughs> please talk to that guy here if you need anything. I love the that guy. I I, I made the right choice. Sounds if good. If you need anything, just ask that guy. That guy. <laughs> Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. <laughs> it's so funny. No, but the thing is, he's not talking about you. He's talking about the conductor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna rattle off a couple of uh, super chats real quick. Yeah, so, you've got a few. Yeah, uh, Sabuna, thanks for the five dollars. At this rate, I might just die laughing at the Vector's impression. I know, right? <laughs> Fun time. Uh, Statica Bear, thank you very much for the 199. SBO, you're the cutest. We all love you. SBO is the cutest. Yes. I mean, I've never really thought of it that way. I uh, appreciate the kind words. Thank you. Keep complimenting you know, I him. Can't see it, but he's blushing. He's blushing. Look at him. His cheeks. No, are, I'm not. He's pokey poke blush cheeks. Pokey poke Stop. blush cheeks. Don't poke my face. Don't poke my. <laughs> I can go invisible, you know. You know. I no, can just don't disappear. Oh, don't do that, because then we don't get to look at you. I'm going invisible. No. I'll come back. You'll make her sad. I'm still here when he goes invisible. His blush is still visible. <laughs> no, it isn't. Oh, hey, we got more coming in. Gotta get through these quick. Uh, Prelude Cruise, thanks for the two dollars. It's that B-Boy! I am that B-Boy and I am here. Uh, Sabuna, thank you very much for the five dollars. The running gag of the stream is gonna be shower, isn't it? As long as the conductor's on the screen, yeah, it's gonna be the running gag. Um, mm -hmm. Suplex City 42, thank you very much for the 499. Happy to hear Sassy's voice again because she's a very important part of the Chaotix. Hey, is she a part of the Chaotix now? Are you part of the team? Did you hire her? She might as well be. Hey, Charmy, you can't detect a fart in a spacesuit. That's not very yeah, nice. It's also very true. Don't it's take her side. <laughs> guys, guys, she's new. I've been with you for like 30 years. What's going on? All right, all right. Sassy's better than that. But I'm still, be I'm the... but I'm still better than him. Yeah, we're not gonna worry. <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm, I'm deaf, not stupid. Wait, I'm stupid! No, why am I stupid? Case I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be Amy. I'm gonna be Amy now. Thank you all for following the outfit. 
big guy they sent you. You all look amazing. Don't laugh at me, please. I trust you all read the lore cards as well that MatPat sent to you. Help me, please. I'm stupid. Sorry, did someone say MatPat? Music man! Yes. Yes, I did. Actually, Amy did. Lord Car. Not stupid. I'm deaf, not stupid. <laughs> I know, I know. I dug myself a hole. I'm leaving. Sassy, you can take over the channel. People don't love me anyway. They love you. Oh, no, don't say that. Now I feel bad. Now I feel bad. Charmy, don't be silly. You're being silly now. Come back and read your lines. Okay, I'll read my lines. Lord Cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty! For the murder murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered, obviously, da da doi, and the rest suspects. Yeah, that's how it works, Amy. Where did it say da da doi? I added it in. I think that was ad lib. I am, I am blip because that's what actors do sometimes. <laughs> Everyone has the side roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. All right, Queen, shut up. Um, of course. <laughs> I don't want to read. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are the sh you are a ship captain. And you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain goes. Tails, you are the the the, the, the detective. You'll be da, in. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I can talk. <laughs> you'll you'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, da, you're the sheriff da, da, da. around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. He's a phantom. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? They're... Oh, wait, Sassy, no, that's not your line. Sorry, I shot the gun too soon. There is none! Hmm, sounds fun. There, I got it, sorry. You're good. Well done. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio, I'm Charmy now, by the way. <laughs> I turned into Charmy. Happy birthday, it's, everybody. Don't worry about it. Just, I'm worrying. Both you said you weren't even going to do voices when we started. I know, but I changed my mind. Shoot me. Yeah, that Espio, we get to hang out together. And do what? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith, hanging out in the lounge. You look like a Starbucks barista. He kind of does, doesn't he? He really he does. Be a, a locksmith. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you all get that? No, let's read it again. <laughs> If you say no, they will. I know, I know. Ah, uh, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, and that reminds me. Here, I have a map for each of you. Look, I, I drew it myself. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Map added to your inventory. The rules of this game are as follows. There is a murder amongst all of you. A oh, marvelous! The murderer oh, can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must uh, physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so suspect everything you can. Find clues and interrogate. Inspect. Inspect. I I, I knew that. I'll set it's a right, you're still learning to read. So I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? 
Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations. I'm gonna regret taking this voice on, aren't I? Possibly. I Maybe there's a fair bit of talking. That's why we we chose uh, roles that fit our voice a little bit. Well, except for boss. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just did funsies. Uh, Static and Bear, thank you very much for the 199. SBO is best blushy boy. And Sabuna, thank you very much for the five dollars. Said locksmith, Shadow is a barista, and we all know it. I agree with Sabuna. I agree too. Oh, it's more Amy time. Okay. Have fun. Ah, it's so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. Every time I've really wanted you, you just stop doing the voice. <laughs> I uh, think I might have to, to be honest. As funny, as funny as it is, I may come back to it a little later. I'll admit, I'm nervous too. Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Unless you're Shadow or Sonic and you have no one to talk to. Everyone has roles to play, well, so they, go they in must... between carts throughout the hour. Ah, true. Must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I'm a flicky. <laughs> My backstory is that I, don't think that's true. I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy per person turned journalist. Isn't that what j journalists are? Not Very gonna... realistic. Not gonna lie, this sounds kind of fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Oh no! The train started moving! It's so fast! Grab onto something! What's going on? I'm slipping! Hold on! Whee. I can't! Whee. Whee! And then they all die. Goodbye! Bye! Lee! <laughs> Lee. Yay! <laughs> oh no! That doesn't look good. You're both awake! Yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. Wow, how fast was that train going? This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. This is, uh, is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't really recall them warning me this about this in the interview. We should go check on the others, that guy. Could you get the door? Of course. Hmm, seems the door is blocked. I don't think it's budging. No, what gave it away? Was it the shelf in the way? <laughs> Amy, give that fallen shelf... <laughs> yeah. Give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know Amy, she's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on what a why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet. Then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather ev evidence and interrogate. Got it. Shine a light in her eyes and slap her around. Good cop, bad cop. Right? Do the good cop, bad cop <laughs> routine. 
I'll need you to do everything in your power. Yeah, that's a flashback. Understood. Yep, got it, Mr. Conductor. I'll, I'll, I'll do you proud. You love those showers. You love them so much. <laughs> you can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex lucky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Wow, Amy found a spoon. Let's see. Check the yeah. trash. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check here. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, it's a very clean trash bin. How did I become as optim how do I become as optimistic as this kid? It's the spoon. Uh, what else can I click? Uh, let's see. What about the wet floor sign? Ah, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. Cool, we're getting fun backstory here. <laughs> uh, sh oh, baseball bat. I'm gonna click on the shelf. The shelf is blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey, that guy, look closely at this. Oh. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen onto. And I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Yeah, because somebody hit it with something. That's why. I forget, did you check the trash can yet? I did. Okay. There's nothing he in did. it. There was nothing in it. Let's see. Hmm. That looks like it could be a Pico Pico hammer. A broken one. The tip is broken. It looks like to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Really? <laughs> I'm gonna keep this stick. That's a fine looking stick. I think that we've... guy likes sticks. He likes stick. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. You having fun with your spoon there, Ames? I like fish sticks. No, Vector. No. <laughs> Uh-huh. What's, what's the latest? That's what you put him. Find any clues yet? Good point. If I found a spoon... I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train. Really, Amy? I'll keep looking. Uh, let's, uh... Let's, Start interrogation. Let's talk. She no. Ah. I just thought maybe it was kind of like less easier and gently instead of going, You! You're the killer! Get straight in there! Get her! Amy, Get we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you! This isn't gonna be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you! What in the world? What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Let's see. Not microwave a chili dog. Attempt to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while that guy and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it! Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? That guy! Let me step through you through this. Okay. First, find the correct piece of evidence in your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form an argument to fight back. Alright, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining um, car closet? Well, that certainly does. No, really? Okay, you're not quite sure. That, that proves it. <laughs> what? Some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over! Damage makes sense! You have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof. Okay, Tails. What now? Well, now we need to follow this train of thought. How does a crack on the shelf relate to Amy? 
So now I have to explain myself. Well, you see, I, uh, well... Hmm. When I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? Play a minigame? What, what would Sonic do? Sonic's supposed to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses! Like an endless runner game? I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. Alright, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Oh, cool. Okay. Tiny game time. <laughs> that guy's game gear. <laughs> oh, okay. AWS in space. Cool. Yep. Wazd. Hey, you gotta press the to, to check him off. Uh, I pressed them all. It takes a sec. Cool. Now you need to collect 20 rings. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be too hard. Exactly. Look, you already got that many. Hey, 20 rings! Let's go! I'm a pro already! You got 27. That's pretty good. That's pretty neat. So I didn't need my controller all along. I'll put it down. Sure, the shelf mm. fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me, on a train this well kept, the damage was here before we arrived? Ah ha ha. Well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? This stick that I found and I think is really cool. Would you like it? What is that? A stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Yes, Amy, because if you hit yes, it hard you enough... Can. Exactly that. No, Amy, you, you dumb broad. Such a dingus. <laughs> D -d 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 dingus Dingus. Hmm? Yay! 30 rings! Let's go! Yeah, Anyone mm -hmm. would think this is easy mode. You're right. It isn't. A stick can't uh -huh. do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something that could, like, let's say, a hammer... Haha. <laughs> this isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf on your way, but you failed. Out of the way, but you failed. The handle of your hammer snapped right off. Uh. Ah. There we go. Sussed you out. It's as you both said. I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack, and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a lighter, it's lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see those pieces of the hammer. Let's just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, all fixed! Tails! Thank you! According to my calculations, if you hit the right shelf, shelf right here, it should do the trick. Alright, stand back! The shelf completely shattered! Incredible! We did it! I'm free! <laughs> I'm free, free Amy. SPO's favorite meme. I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> Never seen I SP know that one. It makes SPO laugh. It's pretty funny. It, does. it always makes me giggle. Great job, Amy. I'm me that one out of, or out of stream. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Whoa, this is trashed. Things got wrecked. Wait, is that? 
Whoa! Da, da, da. The blue rat! He's dead! It can't be! Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! Why do you look so happy? <laughs> She's so because happy! it's a game! She's just happy it's a that murder the mystery. game is stolen. Oh, I get it it's now. It's not real. Looks like the game's begun. I'm, I'm finding out who did this. At once. Amy, wait! I want to figure out who did this too! Wait for me! What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Y y Sonic, you alright, buddy? Sonic? I don't think he's alright. <laughs> cause, cause somebody make the funny turtle noise, the uh. <laughs> <laughs> Body numb. Body numb. Move. Can't move. Oh, we got a donation from Subuna. Thank you for the $5, Subuna. It's murder on the Sonic Express. The Mirage Express, you mean? Dang and Rumpa. Same difference. Dang and Rumpa. Do, 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 do. A body has been discovered. A body has been discovered. What? What are you saying? I, I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic! Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this, Ray? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery? Or is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no! Oh no, I feel myself panicking! Calm down, that guy! What? what do I do? You need to do everything in your power- Oh, blah, 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 blah. We're having a flashback. He likes his showers. He See, showers, guys. He likes showers. <clears throat> I need to catch up with Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Sonic is doing the forever sleep. We finally got to the title screen after an Sonic hour. Sonic six feet underground. <laughs> oh no. No oh, boss. That's, <laughs> man, that's dark. The saloon car. Hey. It's Mirage Saloon Zone. Whoa! Look at this place. Uh, and Tails is my buddy. That guy. Mm. I'm over here. I think he was already gone on ahead. She seems real- it seems she's really excited. Did you need anything from me? Um, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? Ha 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 ha! Shower! <laughs> he- he likes showers, too? Yes. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, I promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Don't mind if... If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure! Now, if I ever need a snack, you got me! Ha, <laughs> shower! Fair. Every laugh is just shower now. I, lo oh, showers. I love how there's, like, lipstick on one of the glasses I've just noticed. Well, it's part of the mystery. Right? Exactly. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. Hey, $50 from Connor. Thank you very much, Connor. Happy Friday, Charmy, and everyone, hope you guys kick that murderer's butt. We're, we're, we're on it. We're on it. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, um... Where's my lore card? 
The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. Oh, SPO. Hey, let's go. What are y'all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <coughs> Enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope. I had nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated, agitated about something. I couldn't get agitated out for a second there. Um, it's a hard word. Right? <clears throat> but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. That guy, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we, we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues, then, then interrogate. Alright, let's do this. Let's look in the trash, because I like looking in the trash. I'm the trash man. <laughs> Let's check out the trash. Oh, no. But I like being a trash goblin. Nothing in that one. Darn so it. Many of time tales have faith. Yeah, exactly. We'll find something. Oh, man's trash is another man's treasure. Exactly. I think Tails is ignoring me. Don't ignore me! Hey, oh. I want to look at the glasses. That guy, this is interesting. What is it? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? That guy, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone must have... <laughs> Knuckles' color? He could pull off red, he's red. I just... Are they confirming that Knuckles has a color? Right? I think they're confirming that he might wear makeup. <laughs> it's not as... Yeah, Knuckles... Knuckles color... wears lipstick confirmed? Yeah, I think Knuckles... Maybe? Is... Yeah, I think he's more of a purple guy, to be honest. Yeah, to match his eyes. <laughs> uh, no. Someone else you know what? I reckon the color that he wears is more of a rouge. Oh! Oh! Alright, let's look at the I'll window. I'll stick that water poster. <laughs> He's an Omachow. He's wanted. He's wanted in. He's wanted in forty-eight states. It doesn't states. even say an amount for a reward. It just says reward. Yeah, Omachow's wanted in like forty-one states. Breathtaking views. This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. I'll never understand this friend group. Hey, I got a donation. Um, downtown with Brown. Thank you very much for the five dollars. Clearly, the reason Charmy's not in this game otherwise is because he's the killer. He stung Sonic so he would die quickly with um little blood. Oh, uh, <coughs> what are you talking Charmy, about? Army, is it you? No. Are, are you, you the killer? No. <laughs> what, are, what are you talking about? Let's find more clues. Look at this broken, look at this busted arcade machine. Clearly, clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Monkey Ball. Ah, I get it. It's a Sega Sega. game. Ah, the Sega game. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from punches who could have done that knuckles did you did you get mad what are you two looking at me for i took your part sorry fine. no it's fine you want to be knuckles you knuckles it. oh please i don't want to be any more characters smashed arcade is added to your inventory oh it's gonna be heavy i think we found enough clues Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. But I wanted to investigate the hand and the, the nuts. You still can. 
can if you want. It's just your game's ready for you to move on, that's all. Well, let's move <clears> on. I'm sure we've got enough. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. <laughs> I, mean, I do, I like his hat. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. No, oh, poor Nucky. He's Nucky is a good friend of mine. I, I love Nucky. And he's all blushy. And he's all Nucky the blushy <laughs> one. Doesn't look like he's, 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 usual. he's not used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we so we could see? Did you adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said leave. Interrogation time. Knuckles, that guy and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you don't need to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Huh? It, it is. We have evidence, too. We do? That guy, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time of Sonic's murder? Uh, well... The smashed arcade? The arcade machine? Huh! What makes you think I touched it? Time to think! I don't know, the giant amount of punches. I totally didn't punch it. Whoa! We got funnies now. <laughs> Gotta be careful. You can also jump over them if need be. They bounce right. Yeah. But you I seem don't. to be fine. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I'm doing I'm doing it. I'm doing quite well. Got this. Doing better than I thought I would. This this isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because Super Monkey Bowl is your favorite game. <laughs> the arcade cabinet is covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? Um, uh, buddy. What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag, and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to, um, punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you- I'm on it! That guy, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball! Bring it on! Another mini game. Oh, cool. Okay. Another one. More. <laughs> More. Distract him. More, I say. Whoa. Hey, Chubby, moving through those uh, those packs so easily. No, I'm not. I'm just. No. We went around it. I went oh, yeah, around I it. You're, you're bobbing and weaving them really well. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was like, no, I'm. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm doing well. Yay! The arcade machine oh. is fixed. No! Don't look at the scores! Quick, look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now! Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on top of the list. It's Vector? He's supposed to be in the library car! <sighs> the picture is beginning to be painted here. You you competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score, and Vector beat you. <sighs> and in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. <sighs> He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing! What's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's, Vector's a common name! Pro prove it to me he was here! Now! Okay, I'm gonna think. Time. time to think. Trying to steal my line to get insurance. I'm, 
I know, I'm sorry. Oh no, I fell! I'm sorry! Try again. I know, it's like... I fluffed up the space bar. Really? Why isn't my space bar working? It doesn't work if you're moving left and right. Oh, think. okay. That, that makes sense. I don't know if that's the case. Shouldn't be. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Whoa, whoa, okay. Oh. Never mind. That time was just because you didn't land under the ground fast enough. Yeah, I'm just... I think I'm just overthinking it because it wasn't working before. <laughs> okay, it doesn't work if you're oh. still moving. That's kind of dumb. Honestly. All right. It's okay, you got it. Hey, look at you go. Oh, look at me. So much skill. Right? I'm Skills doing that pay the bills. Hey, I'm doing good. He's got 36 rings. Nice. Just enough hang of it, that's all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Back to how you will master at Super Monkey Ball? Because I'm good! <laughs> now that guy, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? <laughs> Vector wears lipstick! Well, there's three glasses, Charmy. Think about it. Yeah! No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cub sitting next to you. While well, you were supposed to be practicing the participating, participating in the murder, there we go. Participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoy some drinks, playing arcade. It's um, it, it's not like. It, it's not. I it wasn't. Ugh. Don't, don't, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say. Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. Sounds like a sore loser kind of move. <laughs> right? It does, doesn't it? I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story, and alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what about the cup with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something, but failed. Made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Um... I'm understanding the scenario. Vectorless visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something and left, then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our qu Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. That guy, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list? What is Tails talking about? Have a look. Let's see. Apple, bread. What name sticks out? Ultimate. One of them. Ultimate. Different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The ultimate life form. Also, the fact that I beat Knuckles by one point. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> That I'd be salty too. One banana you picked. You just got one banana. One yep. banana. One of my bananas. All the other names have food, have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Ultim? You may not know the guy, but there's someone here that goes by the title, the Ultimate Life Form. The, there's really Shadow someone here that goes by that. Shadow the Barista. 
Shadow, the Starbucks nothing, employee. <laughs> nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Victor and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and was the first one to get his name on the scoreboard. Victor and I fought to beat Shadow's score. They both ver they're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. So saw no one else after locking the door. Sorry, I was reading something. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No. I think she has some sort of key, too. That's right! The conductor gave her that special birthday key! Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors, and what was Rouge searching for? I don't know. It didn't tell me, even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. Alrighty. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we uh, confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me. Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, that guy. Let's head to the library. On it. This way more excite this is way more exciting than microwave and chili dogs. Sounds like it. That guy! C coming! Thank you, SPO, for being such a good sport. That's fine. <laughs> Voicing Knuckles was kind of fun. I, I know. Just make sure to not tell him. I don't want to offend the guy. Oh, I'm sure he won't be offended. He's pretty... Uh, I'm sure he's fine. He's... Knuckles doesn't get easily offended. Yeah, he's pretty chill. Ready to mosey down to the next car? You got it, partner. Onwards! Library car... Is it Vector and SBO time? I think it could be. I think so. All this stuff's Looks getting... like we get to shine, boss. Right. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Might also be time for Sassy to simp a little. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I could do it again now. It's been a while. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. She's leaving, so that's great. Already? Before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet, thank you! Hmm, Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy? Say it like that. <laughs> Amy, there I'm you a are! Poet. Oh, yeah, that's right. Have you found any leads yet? Oh, the Detective Per needs help from the birthday girl? Ah, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. I can be sassy on my birthday and any day of the week. I'm sassy every day. I'm sassy every day. I'm sassy <laughs> every day. This tip is too juicy, just too juicy to ignore. Thanks, Woody. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you, and click! But how are you gonna leave? The door of the next car is locked! Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? Look at my key! The birthday girl has a master key! Right, right! The birthday girl, girl gets the birthday key! 
Well, that, of course, it's a birthday privilege. <laughs> that you're a <you> life. <laughs> I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking at a suspicious ass, eh? I'm a detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, um... Just making sure things go well. Well, things aren't going great. Not sure if you've forgotten, but there was a murder. Well, I mean, besides that... Besides murder? Uh, my social skills? Non-existent. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Sassy, do you like it? I like it. Ah, poetry. A resident message from poet to reader, meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prowess. Did I get it right? You did. Well done. Yay! What do I get? A pat on the head? Yay, I like head pets. Can I hear some? Sure. Sorry, I'm going. Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la. D D D D. I knew he was the one. Shut up, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Leave him alone. He did good. Boss. Boss. Oh, sorry. Are you alive? Uh, was that it? I was just... <laughs> I was waiting to see if there was more. <laughs> I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. Um... I am, uh, satisfied for now. Thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. That guy and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we are all sent off, Rouge, Play, Shadow, and Sonic all pass through this library car. But Amy told me an Espio to stay. I promptly picked up a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Victor got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way, at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found? She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car. Then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, but Knuckles now are playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car, where he was meant to be stationed. When Victor came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. 
She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And, yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. What's with all these locked doors? It seems Vector and Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. I'd like to be serenaded with a poem. Well, maybe I'll tell a poem soon. <gasps> yes. Ahem. <clears throat> Thanks, guys! Their alibis seem solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. It's funny how Tails and, um, the... And that guy had the same voice. Hang, <laughs> hang in there. Oh, I'm gonna click here. That seems interesting. Ooh, brochures! There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! That guy, look at this! There's a couple maps here. It seems to be the map of a, a map of a library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Library map was is added to your inventory. Should we should we take this brochure about the cave too? Look! There's stalactites! Nah, leave it. Oh, shower. Yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. I don't know, Rouge might share your fondness for caves. She is a bat. True. True. Oh, there's a... There is a... There's, of... there's a me. And there's an Espio. There's a you and Espio. There's books on the floor. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the there's books. There's a trash can. <laughs> oh, I didn't look at the trash can. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. Sadly, I have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of those out to, for, to searching for something. I can read. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Let's look in the trash can. Something's always hiding in the trash can. Let's check here. Hate to say this, but there's nothing there. I really thought there'd be something. That guy. <laughs> Are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No. No, I'm alright. I'm sure, um... I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Uh, yeah. You just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah. Yeah, okay. These trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. That guy, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. What's that supposed to be a compliment? Okay, let's Probably. let's talk to let's talk to Vector. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but it confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm. But what if I hit the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Start interrogation? Okay. I don't know if we have enough ev or evidence. I don't think we have enough evidence you yet. You haven't yet. Yeah, let's Tales have... will tell you when you have enough evidence. Mm-hmm. Nothing like cold cuts for a cold case. Let me know if you need any good butchering. Oh, don't worry. We will. There's a table you can click on there. Okay, do we, cool. we also look at the, the other side of the room? There's another side. The 
which is you can press the, the little button on the right. Oh, to, to move the I didn't I didn't see that there. Just just read this one for now. These chairs are very comfy, so plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap personally. I was just thinking that. In fact, I That's may maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. That guy, no! Don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every murder, every time a murder ruined my nap, how many murders have ruined your nap? A bookshelf. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the books, book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop. Or in this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but... Every book on the shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one. It's the user's guide to the Mirage Express. The train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but this is interesting. Let's make note of this. Mirage Express manual is added to your inventory. Oh boy. Let's talk to... Talk to Espio. Espio? Sorry. You're good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm here. Don't worry. <laughs> Fancy a poem? Uh, let's see. How about a poem about trains? Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my motion. The window shows the ocean. Oh, wait. There's my lotion. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's such a meme. It sounds like a meme. Uh, it does. Thanks. I actually really liked that one. Huh? Uh, I don't think we're ready. Yeah. Can we try to click it on that door back there? I think that's the exit. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on the way his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to find out what really happened. Alright, boys. Fancy a poem? Uh, start the investigation! So, yeah. go on, Vector. I stole your line, but never mind. So, the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examin examining the valid validity of your claims. I nearly didn't say that, right? Alibis. No, validity. No, you said claims, not alibis. Oh, never mind. Same, 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 same. Same thing. Same sort of thing. That guy and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We prepared uh, to present evidence if need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Uh. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Extroverted. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, Espio. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Once Espion starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? 
Caspio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? Is it the birds and the bees? What kind of things do you think I read? I don't know, like uh, recipes for cakes. I, I don't know if you're best about bacon or not. Not really. If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what that book might be. That guy, could you help me out? All right, that guy. What book do we think SBO may have been reading? That a one. The, the only one in your inventory. Right? A manual? You think SPO was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Time to do a minigame! Time to think. Time to think. Thinking time! Time to think and not stink. Whoops. You can jump over those. It's just. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Jerkins. Yeah, when it goes when it goes solid, it's gonna come. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Why? Why am I stupid? Should have taken the spring. No, I I know I know. I will not be foolish. I mean, I will try not to be foolish, but I can't I can't promise anything. Also, I spent looking at the thing. <laughs> That's the other thing that went through my mind. I made it. You did it. Wow, that was a close one. I did it. I'm good at games sometimes. There were books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail isn't normal, normally, la, normally like you, Espio. Hey now, I won't you have you, or won't have you insulted my pal like this. Calm down, Victor. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Rapple, rapple, rap. Apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can conform anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading, the Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. That guy, if you don't mind. Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Let's see... I wish there was a page 394. Uh, page 14. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, it can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like SBO aced that quiz. That guy, hit him with another one. Oh. Ace that question. Okay, which page do I choose? Uh, let's go with page 231. What is the Mir Mirage Express's, Express's cancellation policy? I could talk today. No refunds and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, that guy. Let's see if SBO can go three for three. Gotcha. Which page should I pick last? Uh, page 56. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. 
It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can act, but it can't access its full suite uh, suit of capacities, capabilities, without the conductor present. There we go. Eventually, I read it right. Now, did I pass your little test? Totally. It's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting the folks who read? You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurs does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading, after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem. Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. We have evidence to back it up. That guy? He always puts me on the spot. Okay, that guy. Think. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw Espio reading. But what? The luck. Shadow's luck? Shadow's luck? Yeah. Please, pray tell. What this, what this has to do with anything? We're up, that guy. Let's get our argument together. I don't want to think. Think. To think. But I don't think want to think. Time. But I don't want to think, Mom. I already went to school today. Well, not your mom. <laughs> but Dad. Not Dad either. But Mom, Dad. I'm neither. <laughs> but someone. That works. But that guy. But you're that guy. <laughs> Wait, I am? I mean, yeah, right? You're, you're that guy? I think. Wow. It's getting harder. You called him that guy. I did. Of it is. Mm -hmm. That's how level progression works. Darn. Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. <laughs> Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, uh I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just, uh, fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I... you see... I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Espio returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, you were really in the li- were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors, and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear, that guy. One that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. 
I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply still reading? Or did he somehow vanish um, to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Join Tails. Sorry, Espio. Uh. No, I can't interrupt Tails while he's onto something. I'll let him continue with his line of questioning and... Flashback! That guy, my favorite employee, please! Please just don't fix the shower! Fix the shower, <laughs> please! I love showers! You should have a lawsuit to be torturous! <laughs> I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails! We have a piece of evidence that can answer all our problems. All right, my fellow associate. Lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? A map. A library map. All right, now let's get my thoughts in order. Yay, Thinking game! Time. time to think. That guy's dream gear. Yep. Which dream gear is that? Oh, it's that guy's. <laughs> yeah, it's just that guy's. You know, he put his name yeah. on it. Yeah. Vector mentioned that in the beginning. I did. <laughs> did. Oh, yeah, he did. Shows how much I pay attention, huh? <laughs> you never listen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to focus Man, those on... those spikes and those, mm -hmm. those shurikens just can't touch it. <laughs> nope. They just, they simply can't. I'm too good at this game. Too good. Too good. There we go. I done it. I done it. The library map. Oh! Oh, I see. Oh, I see. <laughs> see the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's no there's a way SBO and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll have to point out exactly on the map where you exactly on the map you mean. Where Espio where could Espio have been for Shadow not to see him? Um I think it's obvious, isn't it? Mm-hmm. On the ceiling. The, no, the table up at the top right no, table. Next top 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 right to the left, yeah. That one. That there's one? A, yeah, yeah, there's a bookshelf in the way. Interesting. That's where I was sitting, reading my book. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it, then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because the bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio, or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you won't believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have further I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. We we did it! Another pair of alibis validated. Yeah, now mm -hmm. we can do more things. Hooray. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh? It seems the door to our next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she was passing through earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give him heck, and if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. 
I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose, while doors keep getting locked. Tick, tick, tock goes the clock, while our heroes are in the caboose. <laughs> Gross. At this point, I'm The name of a train, boss, come on. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, that guy. Let's see what's next. There we go. So we go out, do we? Next train car. You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little while longer? He looks so sad about it. I know. He doesn't want to part with the books. The boy books. likes his books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on, Tails. It's time to go, buddy. You can you can look at books later. Hey, nice. Oh, look at that chow. <laughs> Hey, look at him! The mustache. Mustache! They got the cool glasses. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are! We have a lot to say to you. Hey, Sassy, you, 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 you can talk. You, you've been allowed to talk this whole time. I, 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 I've been you having have fun been observing. Quiet. I'm, I'm sorry, I've just been observing. I <laughs> haven't already had a chance to say anything. Enough. You should talk more. We like hearing your voice. Oh, thanks. What's the problem? We've visited every train car so far. I can't read anymore. Shutting down. Um, and everyone says they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My mind. Talk about war a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you've brought the Microwave Master with you. Uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Boss. Tell them, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Hey, Sabuna, thank you very much for the five dollars. But Chow is the bouncer. He sure is. <laughs> yeah. Blaze? All right. I've been hunting for treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor... Sorry, I'm really good at reading. Of fine collectibles. I knew I had to find it. Tell them what it is, Rouge. All right. Well... It's a Fabergé egg. Chow egg. Don't forget the chow part. It's very important. <laughs> wow, that does sound extravagant. But please, do tell me why you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train car for clues. I deduce that the Fabergé Chow egg in here is in here, in this train car locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure's real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, don't you... Well, sorry, hang on. Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car, with the safe code written on it. The score of a lifetime! The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, finder's keeper, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé Chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator. Our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to steal the Fabergé Chow egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, uh, her lore card must be influencing She's her character. Must be influencing her decision here. Wait, <laughs> who's who's in character? 
please. please. Ah, I see. Either that, or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. That guy? Do you have any opinion on this? Stealing is for squares. I think the only square here is you, Microwave Master. I must admit, that wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. No, no! My cool and mysterious reputation is crumbling! Alright, alright. I'm in. I'll help. Well, I suppose if Blaze and that guy are in... Okay, let's get that Fabergé Chow egg. <laughs> That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now, we must plan. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Access to the Fabergé Chow egg room is behind the locked elevator door. The secret guard... The s secret guard? The security guard has the access card. Do we attack the guard, bribe the guard, or distract the guard? Distraction! Let's distract him. Distract them. Perfect. All the charming... We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. That guy, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Blaze. Think you think you could distract the security guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. G great. Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. I asked my stoic, like ladylike like voice. <laughs> well, I trust it strangely her. Strangely sounds like a crocodile. Right? Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Push a bunch of poker chips on the floor. Ask the chow about their partner and kids. Claw machine? Who puts a claw machine in a disco? A disco? <laughs> What's wrong a with disco. me? It's past my bedtime. Casino! This will work great as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get ex the access card? Take their pocket. That's what she does. I'll snatch she did the that at the start. Yep, yeah, she's she's good at snatching. She uh she snatched something off of me once and regretted it. I'll she snatch. Can't be that good if you figured it out. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That Chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent! We can count on you, Rouge! Try not to take anything else from them, if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need Rouge out- Rouge? That's Rouge. That's Blaze. Blaze out of there! That guy, what's your plan? What's the plan, then? Say there's- See, there's a drink without a coaster! The worst offense. Absolutely vile! I can think of nothing worse! Also, I love the doodles. <laughs> the know, doodles are cool! Little, little drink. Yeah. They are Despicable. Crazy. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great! And with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we'll all make it to the elevator. Inside, we... Celebratory dance. Pop some apple cider. Sing victory a cappella. Do a dance! Do a dance! Do a funny dance! Now that's a proper victory! Oh no! One last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking us from the ceiling? High five each of them, have tails disable them, tie them into one big knot. I probably have tails, tails disable them. Have disable them. I want to tie them in one big knot. Try it. Charmy, that would. Go for it. Charmy, no, I'm, I'm, t I'm taking the, I'm taking the mouse. No, don't take the mouse! I'm taking the mouse! 
No! I didn't want that! I wanted to tie him up! I'm not reading anymore. I picked it, it's fine. Maybe but Sassy wanted to pick the sensible option, because she's boring. I'm gonna ignore you and read. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no! Tails is taking a while, and the arms are tightening their grip. Cry and hope they sympathize. Imagine you're not in pain. Pretend there's nothing wrong. Cry! <laughs> Cry and plead! <laughs> okay, well, um, we'll do one silly. Tails managed to do it. I'm reading his lines. Hi. He's sulking. <laughs> Darlings, Come I'm on, happy Charlie. to say this plan is perfect. No, oh, I'm sad. Stop it. Well, you're, in the, you're streaming right now. You can't just stop. No, can I sit on your lap? Yes, that's fine. Okay, I sit on your lap. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right, let's see what's up that elevator. A safe. A few of them. A big old safe. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit. And it was oh, executed to perfection. You're excused. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé chow egg. <clears throat> I think it's the big one here. Big. No question. That has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter in the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. Honest, sweetheart. Let's see. Twenty-three, four, one. Oh, wow! It's here! <laughs> I have it! Alright, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret, because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can. And all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should... All you need to do is twist it. Dick, 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 dick. Um. Uh-oh. Rouge, has no one... Has no one lived to tell the egg's secret? Because the egg is a bomb? Oh no, it's not homemade. It's made in a factory. I a bomb factory. I think you're bomb. onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need you to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work? Rouge. Fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do we put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? Um. Smash it against the wall. <laughs> smash it against the wall. Eat it. All right. Oh, wait. Sorry, Sassy. All right. Here goes nothing. Rouge. We, uh, should probably think of a different plan. Eat it. Not without any soul, they won't. Really, that guy? Probably a poor time for jokes, huh? Rocket to sleep! So you think the egg is just cranky and needs a nap? Is that what you're telling us? If 
everyone's always mad at that guy, at the idea guy. Chaos, control the egg away. <laughs> oh no. Where did you hear about chaos control? Doesn't matter. We need a chaos emerald to be able to do that. Well, dang it. Uh, I think that we should twist it again. Great idea. Stop, stop. That's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. Quick! Put the egg back, Rouge! <sighs> okay, fine. It's going back in. Hmm. Tails, the safe won't lock. The door's staying open. What? Close the door and twist the dial! I obviously am. There's something... There must be some weird way to lock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. What are we supposed to do? We don't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. Uh, uh kiss the egg. Did I finish taking? Or, oh. It says they say, love always prevails. I still hear the ticking. Hmm, what a prude. Stomp on it! Just how I like my eggs. Smushed. I'm guessing you don't like this idea. Obviously not. Let's finish ticking and see what happens. Are you insane? Do you... Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, that guy. That is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but... What if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. That guy, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just... SPO did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Blah, blah, blah. Exposition stuff. Robotic arms. Train had arms. No bomb, no weapon. Passenger safe. I'm here. <laughs> Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as a Fabergé Chow egg, the arms would have detected it, and it wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor. He surely wouldn't have allowed such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay. We wait. I did see the super chat. I will get to it in a second. Here you go. Okay. Oh, would you look at that? The egg. It opened. It's hollow. Not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Phew! My, my. Well, that's one way to get the hard racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Eee, and look what's inside. Wow! Look at that sparkle! And it's so heavy, too! The final secret of the Fabergé Chow egg. It's a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. That's a lot of rocks. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, yes. it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé egg secret. I wonder what or why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure, a beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them? Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call, let's go. Also, thanks Pretty Wells for the $10. They said, it's gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. There's nothing that a hunter man or more can ever do. 
I've left the rains down in Africa. It's gonna take, gonna take some time, time to do the things, things we never, never had. had. Ooh. Oh. Da 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 <laughs> Aw, I think we did pretty good. Yeah, I think it was pretty good. Uh, they, they did okay, actually. Alright. So what you, it's my talent. <laughs> no one seems to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdued the drink coaster fiend, okay? Who doesn't exist? Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I'd prefer to never do it again. Now, Rouge. Rouge. She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance. It's as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart at the end of the sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. Oh, a key. Pretty cool. A key. Key. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. Key. <laughs> but we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. <laughs> Come on, that guy. Let's head out. I'm very happy with also, my name choice. Go on. I try when it, when you get out of the dialogue. Try clicking the the top bit, like the like the, the what looks like screens. Was there a trash can in here? Did we ever click on one? Gotcha. I don't know. Mystery continues. Uh, oh, there's a trash can. Trash can. Search the trash bin! It's empty! Oh! Oh! Did I hear an O? Oh? I've always believed in a thorough investigation, even peeking in the trash. See? It's about persistence, Tails. My dad told me that when I met when he met my mother, he would he would drive to her work two hours away every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. She quickly agreed to date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, uh, the two were married. Uh, it's about caring, dedication, and persistence. That's uh, very sweet, but all, all of it's in the bin is a lollipop stick. A uh, lollipop stick? Yeah, like the leftover stick from a lollipop. That's all that's there. That guy. That guy? Is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? Just leave me be. Also, what do you want me to click on? Uh, the, the screen things at the top. Oh. Okay. There's a lot of rings for a jackpot. There's a lot of rings. We could we could we could pay off our rent. Right? So I guess we can Forever. I guess we could move along. Is there any evidence nice here or just we go on? No, we've done I think we just go. Did. We've done everything. Alright, we go. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it. Boy, we gotta oh, yeah. we, we gotta be getting through this game now, surely. <clears throat> We're on Shadow, so he's one of the last yeah, people. Yeah, this is I think this is the second to last car. Now is as good as a time as any to clean out my pockets. Oh boy, here we go. Well, I've got to get my shadow on. <laughs> <clears throat> I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. 
I have my reasons. I... No reason is convincing enough. It's incons inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? <laughs> I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog is delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Huh! I'm not saying a thing. You lot have a... You lot have... Will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet up with him? Well, that guy. Well, that guy. I thought he was like, oh, well, that guy. <laughs> it seems. Nope, you're just talking to you. <laughs> yeah. It seems like. It seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. All right, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear, that guy. <laughs> Also, look at the channels, they're playing music. Oh, yay, yeah, they're playing music. Hey, it's the big chow band. <laughs> Play us a ditty. They don't miss. Those chows understand music. That was fun. Closet. Mm -hmm. Closet time. That guy, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out, or worse, leaps out? I just think you should do it. Open the wardrobe for Tails, because I am a good person. Alright, watch a pro. Ah, clothes jump scare! Apparently they're must- Clothing! Ah, clothing jump scare! All of this dust. You opened the door too fast. It blew everywhere! <laughs> Do I have a cough? Hey, there's a hand on the floor. There's another robot arm. I also want to look in the closet. Oh, that's true. There's an arm doing this thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Give me a high five. Doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give it a, I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet! Yeah, high fives. Oh, there's a pulley. Tails, do you see this? A pull string? That guy. What? It's got to activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. Come on. We have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. Big. <gasps> library! This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library? I don't believe it. Shh. Quick. Back through the passage before they spot us. Espio's invisible. He can see what you're doing. We need to add that to our inventory. That's going to be heavy. Secret passageway has been added to your inventory. Alright, what's over here? Trash can. Oh my god, it's the computer room! Ah! Hmm. You finally found it. A key ring. Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting. There's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. Key ring has been added to your inventory. Trash can! Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, and you've been disappointed every time. No, that's a lie. There was a lollipop stick in the other one, so it wasn't empty. Are you going to get sad if there's nothing in the trash bin, that guy? Huh. <sighs> All right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Shower, shower, shower. Ooh, someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. 
It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always six... There's always success if you check the trash bin. Crumpled paper is added to your inventory. Finally. I think we found enough clues. Let's go Thank interrogate goodness. Shadow and find out what really happened. See? Should have gone in the trash can. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare. So cold. You know... Maybe we will get out of here, actually. That guy, we certainly will not. Start interrogation. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door on this train, and... And I know why! Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? Shower, shower! Time to reveal my hot tip! Hope everyone's ready for a scoop out by yours truly! We're ready! According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic is, was stationed. This door, right here in the lounge car, is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do! He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others so no one, no locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all, get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again. After he went to the conductor's car, why? Because he was trapped, he couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. This logic is lo is the logic sound though. I'm, I'm losing the will to read. <laughs> was Espio trapping? Espio, sorry, was Sonic trapping? Me. We're shadow trapping Sonic. Shadow trapping Sonic. Help me, please. I'm dying. I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the conduct the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think. I think that guy and I can explain the car change, however. That guy? I, say, <laughs> I know, sorry. What evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Secret passage. Okay, let me just get my thoughts in order and play a minigame. Big fun, big fun me. 55. Now I need to get lots of rings. You have to pay attention. I know. I'm trying to, but I'm getting tired. I've had to do a lot of reading. I made it! Woo! You didn't get enough rings. Oh no! I thought I had it! Okay. You were four away. Oh, okay. I can do it this time. You got this. I got it. Ugh. Come on. I need more rings. 
Yes! There you go. By the skin of my teeth. I got it. Got my train of thought. That guy and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right into the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, that guy. Hmm, this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered the conductor co Murdered? Was... Shadow... Shadow murdered the conductor car? Yeah... Yeah... Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car. Yeah. But, but then, then thought, thought the, the crime, crime scene, scene... ...being so close to his station was suspicious. Thank you. I'm gonna have to do normal voice, voice for this now. Uh, Shadow picked... Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. A GAME THEORY! I, uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ha, huh, sees Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak two, around two people. That guy, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector did see Shadow because... Didn't, didn't see Didn't Shadow. see. Because Espio... Because Vector was with Knuckles and Espio was reading. Yeah. A.K.A. me. He was reading in the library, which checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if. Oh, thank you, Alicia. You would... Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps that guy that guy and I can further validate Shadow's claims. You can you can do what? That guy, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? Um He's got he's got two left. That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. Now to play a mini game. Yeah. So was I had to be right back. Did I miss anything? You good? Now we're just uh, bullying Shadow. We're slapping him around. You know, flashing a light in his <laughs> eyes. Good cop, bad cop routine. You know, the usual. Hmm? Yeah, the usual tactics we, you know, we do. The typical detective hmm? stuff. Yeah, typical detective stuff. Fair enough. I did it! Woo! I'm a cool boy. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on that keyring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give to Espio and Vector. No way! Well, what... What of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have... I oh. have my own key on me. Stealing lines. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think... 
That guy and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I have one question for you. Has everyone given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. That guy? Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car, locking the exits. He gave everyone stationed in the cars the key. Except for you and me, you, me, and Amy. That's right. The conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So, why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? He wanted, wanted to keep us away. Mm -hmm. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, that guy. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Ah, how dare you! That guy, show me evidence! Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it! You've been so thorough and whatever! What proof do you have? Ah, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep... to just keep Amy away. Why? What evidence shows Shadow didn't want Amy to know? The crumpled up concert tickets! <laughs> that feels right! You just organize my thoughts. Mini game. Dang. Mini game time. Doo -ba doo. Sixty-five. Hmm? Sixty-five. You're doing well so far. Yeah. Hey, look at you go bobbing and weaving. Yeah, look at me go woo. And you made it through all those little fireballs. Yeah, funny, huh? I don't actually know what they're yeah. Maybe Chaos Spears. Either way, I think you just jumped at the right time. Yeah, I think yeah. you just you just weave through them good. I think I'm just really good at this game. You <clears> went <throat> rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's a bunch of... It's a bunch of... It's a... It's off... It's of a band tickets it's website. Of a band's ticket website. There we go. I got there in the end. Tails don't. <gasps> ah, this is Hot Honey's website. No way. I love them. Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy V. <laughs> Jeremy V. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> Jeremy that's, the, that's the auto correct. Are you related? Are you related to him? No, what's really funny is in my videos, that's. Jeremy B. I that's know. Cl the closed captions c comes up as Jeremy B. It's my band, yo. Sigh. <laughs> it's my, currently my favorite. Ha, ah, Amy Sibs for me. All the members have B after their name. Yes, he <laughs> he. Isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time, and they sell out in minutes. So the next question come becomes, why was why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. Situations yeah, don't you do that becoming stuff, Fox. much clearer. <laughs> I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The the printout of the honey hot honey bands ticket website exists because Shadow was buying tickets for Amy's birthday. W what? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? Done a poor job hiding this surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. 
Aw, that's really sweet. Shadow. I used that printer earlier and found it difficult to manage. When logging on to the website, did you print the ho print the homepage by accident? How the Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. Yeah, he's a boomer. Shut up. Ha <laughs> ha, boomer. <laughs> I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Aww. Oof. Probably our fault there. Uh, sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. Hmm. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey Live, and I looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized. But I would be, ava but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you kept speaking of? The time you're able to actually uh, buy the concert tickets? There we go, I read it. Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets. So I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out. Telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw. The birthday key. The key! I, sh key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I... Your gesture is so sweet, and after I accuse you, too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and make it an And to make it up to you, you can come with me. I... Uh, I don't know if... Too late! It's happening! Eee! I can't wait! The show of a lifetime! Uh, fine. Oh, that's actually sweet. <laughs> Happy birthday, Amy. I expect never lots of pictures. I never see Shadow be so soft. Right? It's really sweet. Yeah, right? I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. <laughs> Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who is the source of your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area of the con one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. That guy, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation's finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. That right on. Hours. Let's go. Oh, that's a lot of hours, right? <clears throat> Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's do this. It's now or never. Uh, Sabuna, thanks for the $5. Turns out Shadow's not a big jerk after all. Just a jerk with a heart of gold. The best kind of jerk.
man. Hopefully this is nearly over soon, cause I'm getting sleepy. I'm not. Yeah, we're near the end, I think. Okay. Should really sort out my evidence before I continue. <laughs> Dumps things on floor. In my all fall out of his pockets. <laughs> yeah. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him through throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when le when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Trash can. Trash can. C collect the trash can. You know, I'm all right. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. Aw, you coward. Hey. Hmm. What's that? What's this? Was someone playing darts? Ooh. That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Hmm. That shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make note of this. Blow dart is added to your inventory. Check uh, the speakers. The speakers? Oh, uh, oh, those ones. A microphone? We could talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? Start beatboxing. <laughs> that guy, why are you reaching for the mic? Uh, just um, offering our guests uh, some musical entertainment? That was impressive, that guy. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Should have gone horror, 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 <laughs> horror. No. no don't oh, do that. venting, sus. Ah, Vent. Sus. Hmm, it's a large one. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Tails. Oh, the, uh... Tails. Right. Ugh. Hey, a arm. Bro Ooh, a broken arm. It's been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break it off its grip. Break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? Back me, I can do it. Exactly. The, a confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye aye, sir. Broken robotic arm is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Hi, Amy. Let's go. Well, you two. Think you have enough evidence to call everyone here? For me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, that guy? Ready to solve the case? Yes. Let's solve it. Hello, everyone. It's the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. All right, let's get let's get to it. Sassy's just been is Sassy asleep. I think she's asleep. Well, she's gotta wake up. She's gotta do a rouge. Sassy, wake up. Mm, hello? It's time, it's, just, it's time to solve who, uh, who did it. Hey, hey, oh. Charming. Yeah? How about, yeah. You wanna, how about you wanna bet she was real happy to see SPM when she woke up first thing? <laughs> <laughs> all my, all my rings. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from that guy. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? He's dead. And then there's Sonic. He's dead. He's dead. Vector? Real quick, can someone come with... Oh, 
with me to get Sonic? That's not Vector, that's Amy, so that's good. He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Or is he pretending? Is he? Ready, let's go get him. Let's go retrieve a body. <laughs> Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense. I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. <laughs> he looks so fuck yeah. Sure. Mm. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride the train just to relax sometime. Ha! <laughs> Shower. Yeah. That'd be fun, too! Uh, I'm not screaming like that. Uh, Thanks, boss! No problem. Everybody Audible doing the gasp. explanation marks there. What in the world? Th that's Amy's voice! Quick, where's Amy? Oh. It wasn't me. I didn't know it. He's not responding to us! Sonic! Sonic! What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic! Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there is a pulse, it's weak. Sit him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. Oh, look at Shadow helping. He's a good boy. I knew one of you would take it too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic on my birthday, no less? Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again, which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could have could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room. And punish the one responsible. S Sonic. He really was hurt this whole time. And I did nothing. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, that guy. I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? ba ba, -ba! Who did it, Jeremy? Who do you think? Hmm. I think. What if we picked Espio because it'd be funny? <laughs> what if we picked you because it'd be funny? What if we picked you because we could pick me because it would be funny. <laughs> well. What would be even funnier is if you picked Tails because he's been. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Tails. It was Amy. She got sick of his. She got sick of him rejecting her advances for he years. He didn't give her a present, <laughs> so she knocked. I him mean, out Shadow would make the most sense considering the rivalry. I mean, you're the only one who didn't buy me a present, you blue rat. <laughs> 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 well, considering Espio is, I, I, I'm thinking it's one of these two, honestly, because they're both very. Ca Sh Shadow's Sh capable. Shadow's capable of moving around, but also Espio is capable of moving around without being detected too. But <clears throat> Espio did crack in the library. I. That is true. He was acting pretty sus. 
Uh. Boss, how could you say that about me? I was being sus. Why would you, you were being a little why, sus? Why? Why would you accuse Espio? Shadow's yeah, right I'm there. Just saying, Shadow's he was right being there. A tiny bit sus. And I don't. I don't maybe, have any other leads on everybody, so I'm just. I'm just going to Maybe guy. Vector is just covering his tracks by throwing what? me under the train, as it were. I was with Knuckles the whole time. He could vouch for me. The whole time. Pretty much. Yeah. But what about Shadow then? He was there with you for a short time, and then in every other card, seems convenient. Yeah, he was giving out keys to everybody, and then he was waiting at the website for the thing. Okay. That's a long time to wait. Here's Perhaps my theory. He could have done something. Shadow killed Sonic because he secretly loves Amy, and he wants him out of the picture permanently. Yeah, yeah, that's gotta be it. I mean, go with whatever, whichever one you guys want. I'm not, I'm mm. not here to pull strains. Well, it's totally not me. Just my detective's instinct is saying, I, well, I, I'm sorry. I my you. detective instincts say it's you, boss. Well, your detective instincts are skewed because it's obviously you. Hmm. You're deflecting. My, de my detective instincts are second to none. Well, I'm you know what? After uh, all, jokes on you. They're second to mine. I'm gonna go with my detective instincts as well, and sorry, Espio, but I'm picking you. What? Why me? Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? <clears throat> oh, oh. I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? You accused me just a minute ago. It, it, yeah. It's the dialogue. <laughs> You've already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was Crimson locked. Crimson detective chat. I did it. <laughs> Crimson, no. Espio was locked in the library reading. He only had access to the saloon card during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. That guy? Could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? We discovered a secret passage. Espio could have used, could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exists behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think that guy and I can explain that too. That guy? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? His ninja skills! Espio is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. I know, he trains me. <clears throat> I do, yes, and thank you, but what are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? Th that's absurd. Memorize on a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. I mean, Knuckles was a member of Chaotix a long time ago. And I did. Yeah. He did do that. <laughs> if I'm right, Shall. and Espio quickly memorized a book Shall. before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what-ifs, let's throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. 
That's right. How would Espio have ever known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find that passage. That guy and I might have the evidence to answer your question. But we know someone who does. That guy? Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? That'd be Rouge. Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole uh, blueprints? Uh, mm, oh no! That's me. Sorry! <laughs> I'm stealing your lines. Sorry. <laughs> I do what I want, needs Daddy. needs to be more observant. I taught you that one myself. Oh, no, Anyhow, I'm uh, sorry. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? That is you. Okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm embarrassed now. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. I already used it to scout for more treasure. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. Thank you. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. SPO could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, that guy, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Found them before Rouge did. Rouge, where did you find those blueprints? Oh, uh, the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can, can kill a single participant however they choose. Logistics are still vague, but that guy and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but that guy and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? With the blow dart. Okay, now to form my argument. Come on, focus. You're close, that guy. What would Sonic do? He play a mini game because he loves him so much. Mm -hmm. Got this, buddy. I got it. We're halfway there. Oh no! Oh, almost two rings so up. Th that just that sucks so much. Two rings away. Don't worry, I can do it. This is, this is the harder part now, buddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We're I'll get into the, the later stages now. Okay. It's Third okay. I got this. Third time's the charmy. Yeah. That was actually kind of clever, yeah. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Funny anecdotes and uh, being bad at video games. My favorites. So it makes you so entertaining. Right? There oh, you know, made yeah, it! I got it. You got got it. it. Let's go! Let's go, Charmy! This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder store mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. 
Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, oh, shoot. That was a good point. But Tails was onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. That guy and I know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? The blueprint. The blue... Is that a robotic arm? It's the blueprint. Oh. It's a robotic arm. Oh, Alright, now what's my argument? Are. We're getting closer. Think that guy, think. Oh boy, I love this so much. More. Video game! I know this is what you do in these murder mystery games, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. At least it's not the stupid bullet thing like in Danganronpa. At least, you know, you're pretty good at it. Oh, look at that. You're bobbing and weaving perfect. No! Except that, for that. Yeah, that was not perfect. Not quite perfect. Big oof. The big oof. I just read someone's message in chat. Think, Jarmy, think! No! I don't wanna. Yeah, boy! There yeah. You Almost there. Oh! Made it! You got it! Did yeah! It. Yeah, boy! Did it! Alright, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? I know. There's a path above the conductor's car that goes in all the way to the dining car. Huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of... long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it. Through the vent over there. Pretty sus. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a funny fart. The vent! It's a bit sus. Of course! That must be the entrance to the path! Allow me to check it out. My word! There is a path back there! And a track! A track? Huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move through the tr throughout the train. So you're saying... I somehow fit with Sonic in that bit and took him to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid. So I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? The robot arm! Phew! Now to think about my argument. You can do this, that guy. You can do this! You can do this, Charmy. Also, Charming. there's a donation from Brady Wells for five dollars. SPO Batman, Charmy B. Robin, Sassy Batgirl, and Vector Alfred. Why am I Alfred? <laughs> I don't know. I should be the Red Hood of anything. The Green Hood. Yes. You can be Bad. the. Uh, you could be the Green Arrow. I'm doing. Is that part of the Bat Family? I'm doing bad. And if anything, I probably want to be the Green Lantern. I'm jumping over every ring, and I'm not gonna make enough. No, I'm not. Ugh, this is hard. It is hard. <clears throat> I'm being punished. Try again. Come 
come on. You gotta try. A little bit more. No, just no, keep... no, no, no! You, you'll make it if you just keep jumping while you're in the center. You don't need to go to the sides. Okay. He does if he needs to get the rings. Well, no, he'll, he'll make enough just jumping in the, the bits, because moving more to the side gives you less room, so you'll, you'll be able to uh, you know, get less rings in general. It's weird. Come on, baby. Oh, there you go, there you got you go. it. Yes, just made it. Just made it. Everyone saw the broken robot armor on the ground, right? Clearly, a fight broke out here, and one of these ar robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there was a track the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic um, passed out from a blow dart and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but he's woozy from a blow dart. The arms could have gotten him. Hmm. Interesting theory tales, but you have to admit, these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SPO yet, but I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? Oh no, this is where I forget. Amy's hot tip! Amy. Amy. Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Mm, not me. Tails, you're... you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking up doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? <clears throat> no, of, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Hmm. Misheard you? Yes, I said, uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all those locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. Uh, I, I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Good. And now you're lying to me? On my birthday? Of all days? I believe the murderer used the train's controls to remove Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it, the only person... It only could have been one person. It was you, Espio! You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Da, da, da. Espio, why? Why'd you do it, buddy? I made you your outfit and everything. Oh, wait. He's not dead. Oh, hey. Hey, plot twist. Hey, hey guys. Sonic, you're okay. Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer. Right. Right. 
Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart though, really? It's not lethal poison, you'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad Nick. Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? No, we all need to get out this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. But when he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't, ever, or hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. Hey, yo, what? A what? A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They, uh, certainly didn't tell me about that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Poor Espio. Leave him alone. It's surely not his fault. I'm sure it's not his fault. Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop! What are you doing? I love showers! I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came from me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, slicing it off the rail it was on. Wow. I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ah! Uh, showers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite or er, I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no. Everyone, I have something to admit. Here we go, here we go. That's how we know he's not oh, a bad boy. guy. Sassy, shut up! I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Aw, oh, okay. My instincts were right. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gotten serious. Why would you just... Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game! No one should get hit with a blow dart! I was just following the rules. Oh, SBO, you poor sheltered boy. No, seriously, I was just following the rules, see? I mean, you, you, you were. He was just blown on, on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car, and is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express staff. Look look at the staff. This is this is the work of Crimson Reapers. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Sonic's editor. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it was Sonic's editor. She's tired of editing his videos and wanted him dead. <laughs> Speaking of Sonic, what is that? It says, use this blow dart on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing Mirage, the Mirage Express. Staff. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. 
It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Crimson Reapers. Come to think of it. Two sex, sorry. It was Crimson. <laughs> One of the robotic arms handed it to me. See, I told you, Crimson. Ah! Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? That guy, do you think, do you think attacked, uh, what do you, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? The, the train, train itself. itself. I believe something's been orchestrated, someone, something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for a good while, or for a good while, so I think, the train itself is plotting something. First we learned the train's a bad Nick, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train is out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but it's clearly been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train! Uh-oh. Come on or show yourself! Uh, Amy! It's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it! Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy! This train can help! Come on, there's gotta be another way to get this train's attention! What was that? Oh, Amy, you made the train mad. Uh-oh! Train Engie! An angry train. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Mm. Showers! Here, I can get you down! Oh, no, I got this. Do not touch him. Don't touch him! Oh my gosh, the train is talking! Train. Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will run. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party <laughs> right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, riding open rails, like we always planned. What are you... Enough! The train's picking up speed! Everyone, grab something! Which one of these buttons, or buttons turns the train off? The big off button? Whoa! Sonic! Ha! 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 Shower! <laughs> Stay put until we arrive! Goodbye! Ah! So that was a good, it was a good scream, right? No! No! I can't keep my footing! Ah! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the thud! Just, uh... <laughs> Sorry. That was amazing. It was funny. Ugh. <clears throat> A bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Mm. Ah. SPO eating crisps. My head. No. Teals? Amy? There's someone wrestling. Uh. Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello, hello. No need to yell, boy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sonic, I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Hanging in there. Seems the train arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? I didn't know Sega was doing a Choo Choo Charles crossover. Hey, nice. Right? <laughs> a great question. But for now, are you all right? Sonic the Hedgehog, asking about me? 
Sagoi! I feel terrible. Yeah, things aren't looking the brightest. But when the situation's dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. Ah, uh, Sonic's just as cool as everybody says. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Click the yellow lights. The yellow mm -hmm. lights. That yellow light is chilling. I miss... I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Ah, uh, I got this. I've been working on my Eggman. <laughs> oh, go for it. Go on, bud. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, Egghead! Ho 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 ho, you spiky blue pest! Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Hey, shut up, fatty. <laughs> uh, ignoring that, they certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman Land, these problems would need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for the future schemes. Let me guess. You're the Death Egg, Dr. Predictable. The people fear giant's fears. It's science. Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars where they're stationed in. Seems you managed to make the, the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a bad pig is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without us, without my sus supervision. And report it to me if any of you happened aboard. This train's capabilities of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my bandits compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of bandits. First to capture your pathetic cre you pathetic creatures gets a generous award. Yeah. The train was to deliver us to Eggman. For a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple like my autograph or whatever, but I highly intelligent train. What am I reading donations? Uh, now, Marty Man, thank you very much for the $2. Vector, fire, or demote SBO for murdering Sonic. In case you hadn't noticed, Marty it, Man, it, we it, are it, playing a game right now. It's a game. We're playing a game. Exactly. Uh, Brady Wills, thank you very much for the five dollars. Who is your favorite South Park character? I say it's Kenny. Uh, I'm not allowed to Butters. watch South Park. 
Uh, Lightning Tiger, thanks for the $1.99. Dr. Fatty McEggbutt, cue in the fart sound. Perfect. There you go. Okay, there we it go. It might ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost! <laughs> Ciao. Shower. <laughs> Shower. Shower. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation, and being made by Eggman, it's no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposefully had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time, we were all in danger, and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? I should have done more. Am I at fault here? Hey! Huh? I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I... I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easier to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. Shower. Okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe. Okay. You gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? What would you do? The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So, what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Sonic kill door. Wow. Spin. With one big wind up, Sonic spin dash was fast enough to get the door open. Now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Let's do it! Let's That's do the it. spirit! Let's go find our friends! To the conductor car to end this mystery. But I guess I'm gonna have to play a whole bunch of Level games. time! Oh boy. We got a bigger one to go now. This is a whole story. All right. Our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. Let's talk about frontiers. Hey. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to burst through the next door, too. Ready? Let's do this. Very cool, Sonic. Very cool. Things moving much faster now. Oh no, I didn't jump. Oh. <laughs> Whoops, Daisy. You can, you can tell I'm getting tired, right? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Need to pay attention to where the springs are. Mm -hmm. what? Oh, I did it! You did it! Awesome! Nice. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him! We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go! Hmm. Let's go, buddy! Long time no see! Long time no see, Egghead. Mm -hmm. Lockdown, no see. <laughs> Yay, give me a thingy. Yeah. Oh, I didn't make oh, it. Almost. Almost. Just need about nine more. This is tough. 
Oh, we just yeah. automatically start shooting again. Good. Mm -hmm. Luckily, you just, you know, it, it doesn't make you redo with the previous ones. Yeah, that's good. It would suck if I had to keep doing, you know, more of these. You mm -hmm. didn't move like, that would've got a box. Oh, would I? Oh! Yeah. Big cool. Oh! Yeah. oh wow! Just wow! Enough. Wow! That was lucky! Just Good enough. job, Charmer! You all came for us. Of course! But well, let's move! The train was to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is to get out this stupid train! Let's go! 60! Oh boy, here we go. Talk about low budget flights. <laughs> Low budget flights. That's a quote from Sonic. Um. Adventure. Yeah, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. That's the thing I'm struggling with. Did it? I just need to not die. Don't die. There we go. There you go. I did it. Next door. Mm -hmm. Sonic. It's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move! You two ready? Always. Let's boogie. I should be a voice actor. Yeah, Wee! Imagine being one of those. I know. <laughs> weird. Leave Charmy in concentration mode. Yeah, he's, he's doing his own thing. Look at him doing well. Look at this boy go! Hey, look at that! He's winning all the things! He's got a rage. So Way above! Crazy! <laughs> they locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Say no more! Let's go! Oh, straight in. Back yep. at it back at it again at Krispy Kreme. You would have thought Shadow <laughs> would be more than capable of getting through the conductor's car. You think? No, he just wanted away. He's doing for the, the sake of the story. Hmm? Enough rings, at least. Yeah. It's an April Fool's game, after all. Sonic! Sonic, you're here! Yeah. This is no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right. I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. Oh, boy. Let's train go. stopping oh time. This is, this is gonna be difficult. The final boss. Yeah. If anyone needs to go, they can, by the way. You don't have to stay. If you sleep, you're tired, please go to sleep. Excellent work trapping those pests. Now hurry to me! I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land. And probably another death egg. <laughs> Haven't done that in a while. Maybe I'll turn you all into robots to give Sage some new toys to play with. Shut it, Eggman! Don't disappoint me, train. Hurry it up! I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty. I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown mammals. Uh, that Eggman. I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Oh, boy. This is going to suck. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks, I'm gonna and need Thomas, it. the train's a bit more uh, aggressive than I remember it. <laughs> it is very aggressive. It wants what it wants. Mm -hmm. Get the and train what it, it wants. Know what it want. hmm? Hey, Chavin, look at you go. So skilled. The skills. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave like it was nothing? Who do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. 
I wish we'll keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. He mad. Mm -hmm. He's upset. He's big the sad. The person that he knows and likes is leaving him. He's big okay. sad. To a degree, I understand. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't justify his actions, but, you know. But he is also being powered by an Eggman. So. Yeah. He's literally ran by suffering. <laughs> Big suffering. Eggman! Eggman! Can you hear me? My wish! My wish! My wish! Big Tech Conductor, never leave me! Let us be friends forever! The kind of friends who would never leave each other! Why would he betray me? Uh, I don't know. Man. Sounds like a jealous ex. <laughs> right? One of those ones that never gets over the relationship. Mm hmm. Gotta get 70. Almost got enough. Hey, there you go. Look you at me go! You promised me! You promised! He likes showers! Let him speak! Unhand him! Stop, train! Stop this! I told you we'd be with each other forever! I, But I told you I'd be with you forever! I was a much younger man! I'm getting old! I'm tired! Excuses! How dare you abandon me! I'll be lonely! So lonely! Why must you insist loneliness upon me? Why? Why was I programmed to feel pain? No, stop! You passed butter. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Please don't puppet me around. <laughs> we have to rescue the conductor if we want to stop this thing. What do we gotta get next? Oh. in front now. Hello. You gotta hit it. It's 75 rings. Wee. Oh, I'm probably gonna mess this one up. It's okay, Charlie. You can do it. I'm leaving you. Oh, maybe. Kinda... Maybe not. Yeah, you did it. Wow. Good job. Hee 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 hee. Just barely. Kill the train! Good hit. Good hit. Kill the train! Birdie! Bird! A flicky! This is just like the lore card. When my ex-best friend left detective work to join Dr. Eggman. So this is... So this really is a bad nick. The stakes rise every second, huh? Where's the stake? We gotta save him! On it. Where's the stake? Let's show our full power. Let's kill it. Let's make it I'm dead. The I, need to, I need to cut the stake. Let's make it wish it was... Let's make this train wish it was never born. Let's make it wish that being alone was the only thing it had to deal with. <laughs> I must deal with loneliness. And now pain. <laughs> Big pain. 85, this is a lot. Got it. Got it. Nice it. job. Got it. Just, just be delivered to Eggman already. No. What about, what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me? Selfish? How? How dare you? The He's music's big angry now. The music's pretty cool. The yeah. music's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, it's a Sonic game, so what do you expect? <laughs> Sonic games have good music. 
Gotta get a hundred rings for this one. Grab as many as you can. I'm dying, Squirtle. Guarding 80. I'm dying, Squirtle! No! Charmy! No! Charmy, the only way you ever die is when you meme. Literally. Literally. No more meme memeing. And then you fall off. No more memeing. It means I die. No more memeing. Meme or die. You meme, you die. Come on, grab your friends. Stop! <laughs> Almost there. Couple more. There you go. We got the you got the coins. Hey, you did it. let's you go. Rings. Let's go. No. 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 no! Ah! <laughs> I'll grab the Flicky. Grab the burb. Burb. Got it. It's over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. And then Amy smashed and all was well. Mm -hmm. She what makes me did. laugh is that that hammer is still the same hammer that broke from a shelf. Yeah, yeah right. right. <laughs> Look but against Amy, a train, <laughs> it's fine. We done it, guys. We killed the train. The train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. Shower. It was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. Big Sag. Oh. Oh. I, I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble. Oh. I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. Did it die saying shower? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you, my showery friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our showery time together. Our we love cleansingness. We love the cleansing showers. <laughs> Top 10 best anime portrayal. Top 10 saddest anime deaths. <laughs> we did it! Well... Oh wait, sorry, sassy, you. <clears throat> well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step! Watch your step! It's... over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Or cupcakes. Of course oh? you'd say that. You don't love pastries where by the end... Or you don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually gonna miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Who wants to be the conductor's wife? Not me. I could do it. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. Shower. You honestly, you'd honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. Shower. Shower. I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spagonia in the morning and you need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation. Something terrible. And a, a shower. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. And we need to get you in a shower. You stink. Seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal and have a shower. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? Shower. An old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Cheap, cheap. Wait, hold on, Espio, can you do this one? Go on, Espio. Cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> Lol. Just as good as I hope. 
seems to have slightly found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, Espio. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be. You were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously, a dart? <laughs> It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool. And now that we're all safe, it was fun! This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving! I forgot we never ate! With all that clatter, I forgot- I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too! I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic? Wait, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? The station has a bakery! And look what I bought! Ah! A birthday cake! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Amy! To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your viva vivacy. Vivacity, Happy I think. Sure. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personality. 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 What? It's not a real word. Happy birthday! I'm not smart enough to know if personality is a word. We love you, Amy! Happy birthday! Ah, you guys! We almost got murdered by a lonely train, but... But... I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now, let's yes. have some cake! Yes, please. Dig in, everyone. Oh, I want cake. Yay! Same. I hope it's chocolate. Shadow like chocolate! Confirmed! Confirmed. We did it! Ah ha ha! Look at them! <laughs> Look! Oh, that's so funny! Yeah, shirt that says, let's go dad! <laughs> <laughs> let's go dad. <laughs> that, that train's never making it here, is it? Also, is that Sonic finding a dinosaur on the background there? I... I think so. Or but prepare a bath. The happy rubber ducky or the angry one? Angry! Sorry, Sour choice, choice you're evil miss. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Shut it! Uh, Eggy Weggy Man. That guy. The t shirts, though. <laughs> And that's my right. <laughs> and that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends, entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment, and then back to the back to the things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I quit my job, and then practice my singing, and after that, all that I. Managed to fly to space. Yeah, that's just been my life. What a good life. We did it. Oh, yes. And the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. And I got a couple super chats to read off before we end up the stream. First one from Mark mm -hmm. Galvin. Thank you very much for the super chat. Chilling out on my train with the guitar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Lightning Tiger. Thank you very much for the $1.99. 
I saw that and I know you have the cheats on, B-Boy. No, I don't. No, totally not. Nope. I already uh, knew that. Suplex... Suplex City 42. Thank you very much for the $1.99. Sassy is the best and so cool. Someone said you're the best! Oh, um, thank you very much. And yes, Charmy did have the cheat song because he asked me how to access invincibility. I knew it. No one could get through it like that. Uh, I don't even know there were cheats. Uh, uh, no, I'm I'm just that good, guys. I'm so fast that the the spikes couldn't touch me. And uh, uh, Sabuna, give a, it's a donation for Sabuna, guys. We love Sabuna, right? <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars. This was a fun stream, you guys. I'm glad I could be here to make it. And happy almost birthday to Sassy. Have fun when your big day comes around. Her birthday is in a couple weeks. It's uh. We're gonna do a birthday stream on the twenty second for Sassy. Yay! Let's forget that I used. Yay. Let's forget that I didn't use cheats. Yeah, he let's. Used cheats, didn't you? He used cheats. I knew it. Uh, look, another super chat from Marty Man. No one wants me to stop, huh? Thanks for the two dollars. Uh, sorry you had a bad day today, Espio. When did Espio have a bad day? I guess, I guess they mean the whole murder murderer. thing. Oh, yeah, the murder! Yeah, totally. You know what? Uh, this is a good place to end the stream, because this is the longest stream I've done in a while. Nearly four hours! Wow! It's, it's, a, it's a whole lot of crazy! Uh, it's, it's, time for me to, it's time for me to go to bed, and um, it's time for Sassy to go on a date with Espio! <laughs> Funny. Every stream you say this. Why do you insist on embarrassing us? Every time. Just ignore and, Anyhow, and thanks you, everybody for watching. Yeah, and you, boss. Hey, what did I do? You know what you did. I'm, I have big ears. I'm I'm not deaf. Hey, now, uh, let's forget about that. Anyways, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, <laughs> might be time like, to comment and subscribe. No yeah, way. might be time to demonstrate my kicks on you. Charmy, end your no, own no, no. stream. It's your stream. Don't rely on Trust boss. Me, her kicks have gotten a lot better after training. I think I'll pass all that. Uh, I'm out. Ah! All right. Uh, thank you, Mark Galvin, for calling me a cheater. Thank you for the donation. And uh, yeah, be sure to uh, look out for more streams, uh, video tomorrow. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't, if you're new watching the stream. And yeah, um, 